Hello everybody, the yeah, Man back here again. Today I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade your iPhone 3G to iOS 2.0. So let's dig in. So the first thing you'll need is this downgrade pack, which I'll have a link below in the description. So as you can tell, I'll have lots of stuff in it, like for example, a very specific version of iTunes, as well as Red Snow just something else that I don't that we're not going to need so I'll have that link below in the description but the first thing you're going to need to do is if you have since you need the very specific version of iTunes you will actually need to go into File Explorer Music iTunes or actually want to go back rename and you want to name it to itunes.org or some or just something like that so just go ahead and do that hang on let me get Okay, so let me go ahead and try again. There, I'm just renaming it that. So you basically want to go ahead and delete everything. So you just want to go ahead and keep on doing that until until it comes up with some sort of option to delete or actually you can just go ahead and delete okay so you actually have to close out iTunes never mind and then you can go ahead and delete and there we go so now we need to go into start by the way you can do this on either Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 10 control panel Uninstall program, and we're going to basically want to delete anything with this that smells like apples, or in serious words, just anything that has the publisher of Apple Inc. on it. Let's just go ahead and do that. And I'll just get back to you once I've deleted everything by Apple, everything. including iTunes deleted. You want to go ahead and go into your folder. You want to go into iTunes setup thing. And go ahead and set it up. And obviously that's very self-explanatory, so I'm just going to get back to right to you once I have iTunes, iTunes installed. successfully installed. Now I can finally, now the phone finally comes into play. So you need to plug it in. You'll need to make sure it's running iOS 4.2.1. Most people are going to know how to do that, so I'm just going to skip over that. But what we need to do is go ahead and open up your big folder. And we're going to need Red Snow this time. Just close out your file system there. And then we're going to need to press the Browse button. And then you're just, I would recommend putting all your IPSWs in desktop to where it's easier to find. Open up your iOS 4 IPSW. Then there you go, so click next. We'll go ahead and just do everything. And then you just wanna go ahead and press the install Cydia button. And then you'll need to click, and then you'll need to go ahead and verify that your device is plugged in. As you can tell, mine obviously is. So first up, we're gonna need to power it down very very self-explanatory there and once your computer makes that ching song you should be in the clear and then just follow the on-screen instructions to enter DFU mode
you can see my little reflection there. Now I just want to do it again if it fails. So just go back in there again if it fails. So I'll get back to you once I'm jailbroken. Once you are jailbroken, you don't need to open say at all. You just need it to be exploited. You're going to want to go ahead and open back up your thing. And this time you're going to want to go back into Red Snow. And then you're going to want to go back into choosing your, I your iOS 4 IPSW. Oh, and by the way, one important note is that I think Red Snow is de is Tever is a 32-bit tool, so you might it might not work on your computer. But this time, if Red Snow does work on your computer, you want to go ahead and just enter Pwn DFU mode right now. Then you're going to want to turn off your device, obviously, for that's what they require. And you want to follow the on-screen instructions to enter Pwn DFU mode. As you can tell, it went ahead and already. And there we go. So now we're going to want to go ahead and open up iTunes. And then just wait for it to load. Just let us do its thing. And then there we go. So your phone should be displaying a black screen, but what you want to do is press Shift and Restore at the same time. You'll want to custom IP iOS 2 IPSW. And then you want to open it up, and that's the reason why we need to be jailbroken is because we're restoring to a custom IPSW. So as you can tell us where all the magic happens to where we actually get iOS 2 on here, so you will not need a SIM card, I don't believe, so I'll because it's custom, but I will get back to you once this is all complete. So now I am officially running iOS 2.0, and yes, since this is a custom IPSW, it does come with Cydia and installer on it, but neither of those work, and you just move those to the side if you want to. But if you really, but if you do want to, by the, but if you, I'm trying to say here, well, I guess that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did like this. If you like this type of content enough, please subscribe for more content like this. And by the way, I do apologize for uploading this late. On today, I do know, I know that I don't normally upload this late, but I'm just too busy. I've been very busy. And also on Monday, because I'm going to a dentist and I'm doing Connections Academy, I can't just arrive late at school anymore like I still have to do it all so just know that I I will be uploading a little later or on Monday too so that's about it for this video and as always peace out